For the first time in 16 years, the Saints started the season with someone other than Drew Brees at quarterback. He left big shoes to fill for Jameis Winston. The former first overall pick got to sit behind Brees after the Buccaneers decided to move on. But sometimes, all you need is a second chance, and Winston is already making the most of his after dominating the Packers in week one. First, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. Also, smack that like button so YouTube actually pushes out this video. Having to face a team that was less than a touchdown away from a Super Bowl isn't really ideal, but the Saints had no problem curb stomping Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. <laughs> <laughs> New Orleans dominated 38-3 while Winston did everything right, passing for five touchdowns. But here's the big part. Winston had zero turnovers, five touchdowns, zero interceptions. Certainly not a line of the Winston of old. The question has been if the year with Drew Brees and Sean Payton helped him. And so far, it looks like it did. As Drew Brees dealt with injuries later in his career, there were nine games over the past two years he didn't start. Crazily enough, without their future Hall of Famer, the Saints went 8-1. In 2019, Teddy Bridgewater revived his career after going 5-0, landing him a big contract with the Panthers in free agency. Last season, despite Winston being on the roster, Peyton opted to stick with Taysom Hill and his knowledge of the playbook. Hill, who convincingly lost the starting competition this offseason, went 3-1 during the span. When it comes to the Saints, success for the quarterback position has been a regular thing for them. But that isn't necessarily because of their talent. Sean Payton is an offensive mastermind, and I don't think there's anyone that can cater to a player's skill set better than that guy. Take a look at Hill, for example. Hill was an undrafted rookie who had injury after injury in college, but Peyton took him and groomed him into one of the most versatile and unpredictable weapons in the league. Jameis Winston is easily the best pure passer on the Saints roster. He was drafted first overall in 2015 for that very reason. The problem has never been his arm talent or if he can make the throws. Winston passed for over 5,000 yards in 2019 and has passed for over 4,000 yards twice. Plus, he has two seasons with over 20 touchdowns and one with over 30. Everyone knows the issue though, turnovers. 88 interceptions in 72 career games, plus 30 interceptions in one season will probably get you cut anywhere. I've always been one of those people that were just a little higher on Jameis Winston than others, especially when he did start getting like a bad rep for turnovers. In my personal opinion, I think his biggest issue was his inconsistency, because he showed flashes for sure while he was in Tampa that he could be a reliable starter, especially towards the beginning of his career. And to me, it seems like guidance really helped him kind of get his stuff together. He looked really good against the Packers, and I haven't seen Jameis Winston look that good for a long time. I think he can attribute a lot of that success also to the skill that he has in the backfield with Alvin Kamara. So I think being able to lean on Kamara a little bit more and a little less on his arm strength will allow him to limit those inconsistencies and especially limit those turnovers that he had. And I feel like he just fell victim to sloppy play in a pass heavy system. I mean, it looks like he's already addressed some of those problems that he had back in Tampa which makes me really excited for his future in New Orleans. I know a lot of people blame the eyesight and say that his LASIK eye surgery is going to fix the problems, but to be honest, I don't really buy that. Watching Winston play is a classic example of a quarterback just making bad decisions with the football, trying to put balls into tight windows, forcing it into double coverage, and making throws off of his back foot. His improvement under Drew Brees wasn't as much being able to make better throws as it was just learning how to be more disciplined and making the right decisions. In defense of Winston, the Bruce Arians offense is notoriously passing risk heavy. Tom Brady just threw the most interceptions in the past decade of his career. That's just part of the course. What Sean Payton does best is making it as easy as possible for his quarterbacks to succeed. For example, Michael Thomas was the perfect safe read for Drew Brees for years. This season, I don't expect the Saints offense to run through Jameis Winston though. That's because the offense is built around another player, Alvin Kamara. Kamara is likely the biggest piece to New Orleans' success this year. His ability to run the ball, catch passes, or even block in the backfield isn't something you can find often, but Sean Payton knows how to use him the right way. 
One of the things that has gotten a bit overlooked in the quarterback competition is what New Orleans loses if Taysom Hill is the starter. He gave the offense a very explosive and unknown variable that not many teams in the NFL have, and if you begin to limit him to the quarterback role, it takes a lot of that X-Factor ability away. The best bet going forward will likely be to use Winston as your reliable passer, but also being able to throw in Hill at the quarterback position periodically while randomly lining him up at running back and on the outside to continue to bamboozle opposing defenses. We have been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok, and flat out deceived. Sean Payton actually touched on the subject after naming Hill the starter, basically expressing that while that is true, the Saints still had to look at the situation with an open eye. With Jameis Winston, the Saints are going to end up with a much better passer. There aren't many quarterbacks in the pros that have an arm like Winston. Despite what boomers on Twitter may tell you, he's actually pretty damn accurate too. He just makes worse decisions than the Falcons late in the Super Bowl. Jesus Christ. Winston always tries to do too much. He wants to put the team on his back. But Sean Payton needs to drill in his head to make the right read, not go for the Hail Mary pass every time. Drew Brees had a pretty weak arm compared to other passers in the league, so they were usually dealing with underneath routes and out routes. So hopefully, he can be able to teach Winston a thing or two about facing underneath coverage. That's where a lot of his really bad turnovers have come from, getting baited by the defender and thinking he can fit a ball in a window where he really can't. If this does end up working out for Jameis Winston, he made a career-altering decision in free agency a year ago. There were a lot of teams reportedly interesting in taking a shot on Winston and were willing to offer him much more money than New Orleans, but he decided to turn it down to learn under Breeze and Peyton. He saw what happened when Teddy Bridgewater got to play in the system when Breeze went down and it could pay off big time. Winston was very hyped up coming into the pros like every first overall pick is, but with the way the cards unfolded in Tampa Bay, a lot of people forget that there was a ton of promise early. Winston performed well for a rookie and even made the Pro Bowl. Then, in his second year, he became the first quarterback to start his career with back-to-back 4,000-yard -back seasons before being ranked 57th on the NFL Top 100 Players of 2017. Yeah, I guess things did go completely off the rails after that, but at first it looked good. I think a lot of people's perspective on Jameis Winston has definitely changed after this past Sunday's game. I think he genuinely showed some flashes back in Tampa, but they were just overshadowed by his turnover problems. It seems to me that having a little bit of guidance from a guy like Drew Brees has really helped Jameis Winston get his footing and actually learn when and when not to make those big throws. If there's anywhere that Jameis Winston could have gone and turned his career around, it's definitely with the Saints. He showed us that he can compete at a high level while also limiting mistakes, which is something that Jameis Winston has been questioned for basically his entire career. If the Saints continue to play like they did this past Sunday, I'd put them back in the playoff picture. A lot of people counted them out before the season, and I'll be honest with you, just because of all the questions with Jameis Winston and everything going into the season without Drew Brees, I was a little bit skeptical of the team as well. But after this last Sunday, I am thoroughly impressed, and I think that they have the opportunity to be one of the best teams in football if they can pull it together. Winston can definitely be someone that can carry the torch that Drew Brees passed down to him. 2020 is going to represent a huge opportunity for Jameis Winston. A lot of people counted him out after a disastrous tenure with the Buccaneers there towards the end, but he's back in a starting role and has had some guidance from Drew Brees along the way. If there is anyone that can do a good job of helping Winston succeed, it's Sean Payton. Jameis Winston isn't Drew Brees, but don't be surprised if the Saints continue to win games this year. I mean, he's already given us enough reason to think that this isn't the Winston of old. Hey, thanks for sticking to the end of the video. If you want to subscribe to the channel, make sure to click right here to do so. And if you don't want to, or you already do because you're freaking amazing, then click right here to watch another video. Also, go ahead to follow us on TikTok because we're posting a lot over there now. Also on Instagram, we're going to be posting on there pretty regularly. And also go ahead and give us a follow on Twitter because it's football season. And you know we're going to always try to continue the conversation over on there. So again, guys, thank you guys for watching this video and sticking to the end. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Well, I just think we were prepared. You know, one thing my, uh, my trainer, he told me, he said, what did he say? He just told us to be prepared.